Hey there, lovely viewer. Have you ever taken a look at all the new AAA games coming out in the last few years and thought, boy oh boy, I just love having my money swindled away to cruel and anti-gamer. Whew, that's a buzzword now. Practices that have slowly but surely sucked the joy out of gaming like a degenerate sucking oysters out of shells. <laughs> Well, if you have, you should get yourself checked out by a psychiatrist. It will have a nice bed, room, and jacket for you. For the rest of you in their right minds, I am going to go over a game that you have probably all played, but have never heard me talk about. God of War 2018. The reason I am looking over, under, and through this game is because it has managed to shock my cold, dead gamer heart into the youthful young child I used to be. It's got everything you could need. Praying enemies, illuminating dialogue, I think I broke him! <laughs> and gruesome views. Mm, so good. I picked this game up because I saw that it got an overwhelmingly positive review on Steam, and since our great god and savior Valve could never lead us wrong, I bought it. Characters. God of War is a narratively driven story of abuse by a single man obsessed with killing, destroying, and maiming the gods of an old dead religion. Okay, Old Norse mythology is not technically a dead religion. It is sort of still alive. This goes out to that one Norse believer in the audience who's all like, no! and This is our main character, Kratos, a short Norwegian lumberjack who favors the color red. Please respect him, he's seen some stuff. And he's about as Norwegian as Taco Bell is Mexican. He's actually Greek. But he is a lumberjack, and if he's not felling trees, then he's felling gods, demons, and conversations. Mind your tongue, boy! And this is Atreus, the son of our main character, and a constant pain in my... <laughs> he follows Kratos and gives constant advice, which may or may not actually help. It may just encourage your unnaturally high bloodlust, like it did for me. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Atreus is like a chihuahua. Small, loud, <laughs> and constantly overestimating himself. Honestly, Kratos would have died of stress by now if he wasn't already comfortable with the idea of abandoning weak children to die. This is Sparta! Hmm. That may explain his very calm, patient, and kind demeanor. Now Atreus shoots a little bow, and it's called the Talon Bow. He's a good enough kid, and endearing to everyone except for those with the heart of a troll. Then in no logical order, there is Freya. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! The mill. The woman who lives in a turtle named Charlie. She's cool, like most of the time. And feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! There was this one time she broke some sweet looking jade arrows, claiming they were dangerous, wicked, and not for children. Honestly, I think she just didn't like their color. I can feel everything. No! <laughs> I am sure that has nothing to do with it. Mimir, the smartest man alive. It's not often a character describes himself. Saves me some work. Nice guy. He's got horns, yellow eyes, and a tree growing through his sternum. But for all that, he sure does talk a lot for not having any lungs. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel head, I will ask. He has three roles. Comedic relief. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Storyteller. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. And guide. Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. Then there is Jormungandr. Baldur. And this is his character summed up in two clips. I can't feel any of this. I'll kill you. Brock. What did you do? It's better. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. And Sindri. Oh. Oh. Need I say more? I did say that God of War is a narratively driven story game, and I meant it. Now I don't know about the rest of the God of War series, but this game chronicles the adventure of Kratos and Atreus finding the tallest mountain in the Nine Realms to dump his wife's ashes. A simple story. Should take less than a day. So why is Kratos seen by the public as a god killer? This. Oh. Well, that would do it, wouldn't it? Really, the story just snowballs from trying to fulfill the last wishes of a dead lady to killing a small section of the Norse pantheon. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. In this game, you gently punish grade school bullies, rearrange the furniture, and find out how many gods it takes to fix a light bulb. It's making the whole temple reappear. Sounds really constructive and healthy, doesn't it? Now, this may come as a shock, but it's actually extremely violent. I know, I know, the title of the game gives nothing away. You will learn the family-friendly values of solving your problems through constructive murder, walking away from difficult situations, we are leaving, boy. <laughs> we are leaving. Now. and talking about what's bothering you. Listen close. 
I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving, and many who were not. I killed my father. That's impossible! You ever had your wallet stolen by the biggest bully in high school? That feeling of weakness, pain, and anger. It's the same feeling rational people feel when they pay for a game that has anti-gamer mechanics like a battle pass. Like an angel from heaven, I want to. No, I'm compelled by my common humanity to tell you that not all AAA companies are scumbags, at least in 2018. Let's just appreciate the level of love the creators of this game have for their players. I bought this game, no deal. DLCs. Download the game, no email signups. Started the game, no message of the day with an offer to buy a battle pass. Got to the main menu, no in-game store, no special cosmetics, no in-game currency. Started the game, no constant reminder to log in every day for special rewards. In an era where AAA games are sold out to trap the buyer, this game doesn't. It's almost a little disconcerting. It's almost like an indie game that had the passion, love, and manpower to perform at a AAA level. I think we can all agree that it is refreshing. The game is here to be played and enjoyed. Nothing more and nothing less. And enjoy it, I did. Now the entire game is formatted in the shape of an eight-spoked wheel. When people still ventured outdoors to have fun, they would put cards in the spokes of their bicycle wheels in order to find the fastest way to annoy the neighbors and get shot. Fucker! Don't throw my- Ah, the good old days. At the center of the wheel is the hub, better known as the Lake of the Nine. Nine. The Lake of the Nine is my favorite iteration of the hub that I have ever played in. Not only does it allow you to explore many of the nooks and crannies designed into it, it provides opportunities to practice combat. What good practice. Perhaps best of all, however, is its capacity for change and expansion. Many hubs in video games are static and unchanging, creating a temporal and practical disconnect between the events of the game and the base they operate out of. But in God of War, you can feel as well as see the difference your actions make in the world. It makes you, the player, feel important because your actions have impact and thus carry inherent meaning. Subtle but masterfully implemented into the game. Then there is the real star in this story, the dialogue. The voices are perfect. Do not panic! Perfectly chosen voice actors for each of them. This game easily has the best in-game dialogue I have ever heard in my life. Most games have dialogue that is either too monotone, too ordered, or just complete nonsense. Are you alright? What was that? The light magic. But look at this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? You're right. Ah, kids. The moment when true love blossoms. We are leaving, boy. But now. You're welcome. Okay, maybe not. But man, can't you feel what Kratos is feeling? What Freya is feeling? And Atreus is not even on screen, but I'm sure you know that youth-like feeling of wanting to know what they're talking about but being unable to understand. But that great dialogue doesn't make for a good story. Good stories require the character to react to events in order to grow. You can have amazing graphics, sound quality to blow your socks off, Oh my god, JC, a bomb! And combat that is so good it makes you get a bucket for your waste, but if you don't have a good story, all you have is disconnected parts of an incomplete game. At least in this story, we have a dad who listens to his son every once in a while. He's being father, not a threat. I mean, listen to this. You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. So I teach you to kill, yes, but in defense of yourself, never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyway. There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? I mean, moi, that is exquisite. Nothing like teaching your son that murder is wrong because he was told not to instead of because life is precious and a gift. You gotta love it. Honestly though, the dialogue in this game and the story that goes along with it are some of the best, if not the best, I have ever heard in a video game or movie or book. And I have read more books than you would probably believe. Great story, it alone is worth the full price of the game. Do you enjoy getting stunlocked by enemies working in tandem that seem hell-bent on getting you to as low of health as possible without taking a hit? 
Well, I certainly do. The rage I feel on these occasions gives me the greatest form of satisfaction. Ruining my sanity while destroying my keyboard. Mmm. Nothing like it. Do you also enjoy turning people inside out or smashing their heads like a watermelon? Well then, God of War is for you. The combat is simple. Hit the enemy with your preferred form of execution until they fall over and don't get back up. If that doesn't work, then switch attack form. Since I am a naturally conflict avoidant type of person, I prefer dodging when things get hairy and throwing sharp objects at my problems until they go away. It takes a while, but I prefer it to getting stunlocked by a troll and his yeti brothers. Now some things don't make sense, yeah, like when an enemy bitch. sends out a shockwave. Normally you would think shockwaves run on the ground, so the best way to beat the shockwave is to jump over it. No, 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 no. You put your shield over your chest, leaving your feet exposed to block it. Now if you're smart enough to dodge, you will get slapped to the ground. However, there is a tip I want to give you. Don't tell this to anyone else, okay? Spoilers for a five-year-old game ahead. When you get the Blades of Chaos, the Leviathan Axe becomes obsolete. Trust, Trust me, me, I know that seems crazy, I couldn't believe it myself, but for some reason, the ability to hit multiple targets from a distance in quick succession is better than being able to hit a single target slowly. Go figure. For all that though, there are some super adrenaline-packed moments you can get yourself into, and it's in those moments where you think, oh yeah, this one's putting me in the ground, and you barely succeed that you feel like you just did a row of not the best combat system, but it does the job adequately enough. From playing, I can definitely tell that more energy went into the story and dialogue than into the combat system. That said, as you become more creative and adventurous, you will begin to face problems that are not easily counterable. So you die, maybe once, twice, or 52 times, <laughs> and then figure out how to defeat the opponent. Here's one. Any variation of an enemy that has a shield is really annoying. Especially considering that I like to run from confrontation, I prefer to get rid of my problems by hitting them in the head from a distance. A preferably long distance, but I don't always get that option. So what do I do about shielded enemies? I chanced upon that strat by accident. And before you start thinking I'm an idiot, I didn't know the depth of the combat in this game. So while the system can be clunky, there is a lot of room for creativity and exploration. I don't think I ever died to a boss, not even one time. Now I was playing on the second easiest difficulty, so it wasn't like it was too much of a challenge, but I will say this. Those enemy spawns, so seemingly friendly, will beat you up if you aren't careful. Here's another one. Yeah, I enjoy using my son as a distraction. Sure, he may get slammed, thrown, and probably has a concussion, but hey, I live. And we know who's more important here. So while this game is many things, I think it accomplishes what it sets out to do in a masterful way. Give a good story, set up some memorable characters, make you think a little, and make you sit in awe over the game. Overall score? I give this game a score of 20 precision throws out of 15 Jorgmunders. Jorgmunder, you know what I mean. Play it. If by some chance you haven't heard of it, grab a sledgehammer and crush the rock you've been living under, you starfish. See ya. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know your favorite part down in the comments below. If you got to this point, it means that you enjoyed this video. If you are feeling generous, please like the video and subscribe. If you are feeling extra generous, I made a Patreon and a subscribe star for this channel. And I made several payment options, so choose the one that best fits you. Also, I want you to know that many of the memes and jokes in this video have multiple layers to them. So if you want to get an extra kick out of this video, go back and look for the hidden Easter eggs I put inside the video. Even if you saw a few of them, you probably didn't see them all. I can almost guarantee that. He knew the world would not be the same.